This is Frankly Speaking with Muiwa Afolabi. Ladies and gentlemen, brace yourselves and please receive Muiwa Afolabi, your practical career success coach. Enjoy. from the states and I need to buy a sim you know so that I can have a number you know catch up with folks and peeps yeah auntie na nyafu nyafu bonus you need what's yafu nyafu if you join MTN eh, you go enjoy this bracket eh. what's bracket you feel do anything we like with the bonus chatting no browsing no texting no calling no to all network for Nigeria no condition complete freedom everything no buckle excuse me I don't understand what's buckle for example now eh, if you reach out 100 naira they go give you 600 naira if if not 200 naira, they go give you 1,200 naira. Eh, hey, bros, yeah, show me the way now. Get an MTN SIM, activate it, and get six times of all your recharges every time you recharge. Also, enjoy free data to download, chat, and do much more on MTN deals. Only. Sister, you be here like this now, you can't deform. Bros, you know now, now packaging. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning to you all. Hope you're doing great this morning. Welcome to Frankly Speaking, your favorite business and career mindset talk show on radio. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. It's a pleasure to share again with you this morning. Today, let's talk about the quality of thinking. The quality of thinking, how you really think. So this one I have titled Elevated Thinking. Elevated Thinking. As mankind, our emotions are very powerful. Our emotions basically are expressed through the way we feel towards different things and situations. We are sometimes happy, sometimes glad, sometimes sad, sometimes miserable. We get angry sometimes and some other times indifferent. At every point in time in our life, we are exhibiting one or more of the many emotions we are capable of expressing as human beings. Our emotions most times determine our actions. Many of us act most of the time based on what we feel. Our good deeds or bad deeds are all informed and influenced by how we feel at that point in time. This implies our emotions play a critical role in the unfolding of our lives every day. As people, we've lost great friends, great relationships, great opportunities and advantages based on our emotions, our actions and our reactions. And we've gained great people, privileges and advantages based on how we expressed our emotions to certain people and in certain circumstances. The term self-control or maturity simply implies the ability not to act according to how we feel but the right way. It simply means we shouldn't let the way we feel determine the things we do. This is because over time, it's become apparent many things done out of emotions have negative and unpalatable repercussions and regret. Hence, the counsel to control ourselves, control our emotions, and not let our feelings get the better side of us. The way you feel about a matter is fully determined by your perception and interpretation of the subject matter. How you think about someone, see someone, and interpret your relationship with that person will determine how you feel about that person. The value you attach to a person will determine if their actions, their opinions, or words can hurt you or not. For example, you don't get jealous or upset over a random man or woman getting intimate with another random man or woman. No, it is not your business. However, you will of course get jealous and upset if one of them is your lover or your spouse. The person has not changed but the value attached to this person in your mind and your interpretation of that person getting intimate with another person will lead to your feelings of anger or jealousy. Same persons, different emotions based on different thinking and interpretation of your relationship with the person. Hmm. This simply means all feelings step from your thinking, your interpretation and perspective about people and situations. Many of us today are perhaps very unhappy and very upset about many things happening in our lives. 
Today, I hear and see many people angry over the state of their finances and social economic well-being. I hear anger, I see anger and feel anger from many people around because things have become more difficult financially and socially. The street is not smiling and in their minds, our political and societal leaders are responsible for everything. Of course, leadership has got critical roles to play in any nation to great infrastructure and avenues for wealth creation and financial well-being for citizens and dwellers. But more critical to your personal success is your own responsibility in taking advantage of what is available, either in excess or in shortage, to upskill your own condition and life quality. Many today have perhaps focused too much on blaming the leadership, the system and various institutions for their crisis that they have completely ignored and relinquished their own roles and responsibilities for personal improvement and success in life. Uh, to become successful and great in life, you sure need other people and a conducive environment. But much more than all these other people and the environment, you need you. Without you, no one can really help you. Life is more beautiful when you allow yourself to appreciate the little things, uh -huh. the little things. Uh -huh. Every day is more complete when you can enjoy uh -huh. the simple things, uh -huh. the simple things. Uh -huh. A little more convenient can go a long, long way. You'll be amazed how much time you save you when you leave the star nine of our hush and life. Star 904 hash Oh yeah, I'm to shop shop for tight like pam 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 Star 904 hash Wherever you are to reload is easy like pam 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 Star 904 hash Shows down star 904 star The amount you want to recharge and hash And with one single dial you recharge like pam 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 Buy airtime instantly directly from your bank account Simply dial star 904 star The amount of airtime you want and hash My dear friend, I have a question for you today. If you pick up a calculator and sum up all the amounts you've earned as salary or profit since you started working, how much do you think has passed through your hands? Just pause and think about this for a moment. For many middle class people, over 100 million naira has passed through their hands in the last 5 to 10 years as salary or income from business and today they have zero bank balances or worse still, they are in debt. For other average people in career or business, you possibly have earned tens of millions in the last 5 to 10 years and today you have nothing. Sincerely speaking, I don't think you can blame anyone for this situation but yourself. You need to think correctly and fairly of your own role too to dissipate the right emotions in this matter. I submit if money earned yesterday can't feed you today and tomorrow, you probably ate up your seeds and wasted your resources. Resources, no matter how much, won't profit anyone who is not really resourceful. Many of us have wasted so much money over the years simply because we couldn't draw a clear line between our needs, our greed and our dreams. When it comes to cravings and desires, human beings by nature are insatiable. We're never satisfied. That's why some of us have over a hundred pairs of shoes and we've never worn some. And some of us just keep changing our phones even though nothing is the matter with the old one. We're never satisfied by nature. That, my friend, is why many of us are broke today. The ability to be satisfied with what you have is a habit you create deliberately. It never comes natural. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm an advocate of honest, decent and responsible pursuit of great wealth. I'd love to be a billionaire and I have no apologies for that. I hate poverty, not just in my life but in the lives of billions of people all around the world. My personal pursuit of great wealth has a purpose that's beyond my personal needs. Dear friend, poverty creeps into your life disguised as care for self. Mm. It points your attention to all you lack and all you need and all you can get. Then through this thinking, you develop a needy mentality 
And once you realize you can get all you want as you want it, the way you want it, you develop a victim mentality. Then the emotions you emit is of bitterness and anger towards those you think are responsible for your lack. Many of us today carry a help me mentality. We spew out our needs, our problems and crisis to anyone who appears like a helper. Hardly do we give a thought to those who also need our help and our support and our generosity in this life. Real victory over poverty, insufficiency and lack is a mentality of who can I help? Where can I help? With what can I help? The day you begin to dream of the possibility of being useful to others and to your nation, your anger will vanish, your bitterness will diminish, and your progress will commence. Your thinking will change and your emotions will align. Dear friend, true value is not in what you gather or own. It's in what you give or release to other people and your society. That's what makes you valuable in life. Most of us today are in financial crisis because we didn't invest in our tomorrow. We didn't invest in our capacities, knowledge and relevant skills for our tomorrow. Our self-centered thinking and vain competition made us squander and waste our wealth of yesterday and today we have nothing much to show. Hence, we're in crisis, yet we hold others 100% responsible. I suggest you take a tour around your house today and see the very many things you bought that you didn't really need. Think back to all the parties and the drinks and the gadgets and the clothes and the women you spent so much on and today adds up to nothing. Remember, all the huge sums of donations and gifts you gave to your pastor, your imam, your church or mosque based on religious politics, vain competition, vain glory and the will to impress and oppress others and has today produced thorns and nothingness for you. Dear friend, to help yourself, you must take responsibility as well. Elevate your thinking and deal with that biased emotions. Is your anger fairly channeled? Stop blaming the government, your employer that fired you or slashed your salary or the landlord or schools that increased their bills as well. If you really want to progress and do the right thing, get angry at you first, then forgive yourself and everyone and then move forward. Dear friend, elevate your thinking. To review the content of today's episode, you can visit and subscribe to my blog through my website. It's www.muiwaafolabi.com. Till I come your way again tomorrow, same time, same station, for another inspiring episode of your favorite talk show. My name is Muiwa Afolabi. Please enjoy your day. Uh, babe, hello? Hello? Can you hear me clearly? This network, ah, you really should get yourself an MTN line. You never know when you might need to travel, and you need to be reachable at all times. MTN, why? I had an MTN line before, and I wasn't feeling the service, I beg. Ah, calm down. Things have changed, too. I was just like you. In fact, I potted and came back. Here, here's my phone. Call her back. Hey, hello, can you hear me now? Eh, uh-huh. I can hear you very clearly now. Wait. Why don't I have this your oh, number? Like so that. you've been keeping secret for me, Abby? Uh, no, I can't no. hear somebody moving around. Please. Who did you travel with? Honey, Who is honey, she? Better calls and data. Better service, better value. Choose the network that never stops upgrading to serve you better. Text port to 3232. Frankly Speaking with Muiwa Falabi, a production of Frontiers International Services Limited is proudly brought to you 